We're men of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Good old masturbation jokes. <laughs> they never get old until you turn 14. Don't forget the practice swords. Uncle Duncan! The fuck? Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I never expected to see you here. Did something happen? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. The gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Ironrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first... It must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes, almost an obsession, a vital secret he protected at all costs. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. Got it. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. Uncle, that's desertion. The Night's Watch execute men who desert. I know. I wouldn't ask this of you if there was another way. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. Well, uh, Garrett's storyline is starting to take, uh... Take hold. I was wondering what the hell was going on. The entire second episode was kind of establishing things, but it... It didn't really seem like there was much to go on with Garrett, but now it's starting to make sense. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... Look. There's a clasp. It must open. Let's open it then. Go for it. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. <laughs> okay, hold on. Can I read this? No, I can't. That's too bad. I kind of just foregoed, I guess, everything else that was here, but, you know, oh well.
Yeah, there you a go. Perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Um, all right. Let's see. What would make the most sense? Probably like right here, maybe. Nah, that doesn't really do much for me. I guess we're looking for something that looks like a mouth. No, nope, damn it, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry. Put that back, rotate right. Rotate it back. Yeah. There you go. Oh. It's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. Werewood's mouth. Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here. Take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Well, I'll try, Uncle. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett. I don't know. They're probably like little little shards or something. Not to never lift one of those again. Wait, so like a weapon. Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, oh, I'm just gonna look around real quick, see if there's anything I can uh, froze on the way down the wall. Take a look at. You break up into little icy bits. It'd be moving pretty fast too, wouldn't it? All right, I guess not. What you're saying? Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I... I know. I... I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No. No, next to him, Lord Tarwick. Does she want to bang him? I want him? to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Yeah, go fuck on, it. Then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. 
It's a minor thing, so I don't know. She's not going to get her hands cut off. Okay. What are you doing here? I oh, know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you all right? I I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. Where well, they found the knife? I was down in Flea Bottom last night. When I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about shh. They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? They found blood on the garden stones. Oh, great. The mountain, but they can't know it's his. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. Someone paid him to kill me. They're still out there. They might try again. Oh, God. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just keep your eyes open, and I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Why are you helping me? What do you mean? I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other, or it's both our heads. What were you even doing there that night? I once told you, there are people who'd be willing to help you. People who want you alive. I'm okay, this guy's sure interesting. Wait, what? You mean someone... Mira? Uh oh. My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well. I feel like that was a good first cover. First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere. I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. Oh, shit. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shed some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, 
my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. Oh, God. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Oh, we just got scolded. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Oh, shit. White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's not back from the wall yet. Then make sure Royland's there. You guys are dicks. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> I will cane the shit out of you. What is the meaning of this? I demand to know! <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill. Fourth born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick we used to call you. Swinging your prick round. Lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick. Beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now! And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live. But not us. I'll take care of my house. You take care of your men. Let us keep them apart. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done. Pushing wine on them. Turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands! I have every right! We're here under the orders of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please! 
You can't do this, Smith. Bastard. You can't just do whatever... We do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now! Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where oh, we'll you be. Little this bastard. Outrageous. Roderick! You can't let them do this! Ah, fuck it! I'm glad you see the order of things. It's a long fight. Come on. I gotta stop bitching out. God damn it. Ah! This is fucking infuriating. Griff Whitehill. A snot nosed fourth form. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you couldn't really stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if it drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. Like he's the cock and we're in his roost. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. All right. Iron Wrath. For high point, so save Ryan or expel Griff. God damn it, that's a tough one to say. Saving Ryan, I mean, helps us kind of, but it's a very emotional move and it's one that's really not going to help us all that much. Granted, we might lose him, but at this point, <laughs> I don't think we have much of a choice in terms of being sentimental. Uh, the smarter move, I think, is to expel Griff. It kind of puts us back in a position to where we have control, at least in some aspect. All Saving Ryan does is piss people off and bring back a little kid. It's a tough choice, and I recognize it probably is going to spell the death of Ryan, but I really think we got to get rid of this guy. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. Forgive me, my lady. If we do nothing, we are dead on our feet. Our enemies are not just at our gates. They are within them. We must secure Ironrath, so we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. Then, it's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor, at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitals are already fortified inside Ironrath. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? 
Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Poet, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter? The very same. After the hells that came from her and Asher? Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. What? I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives. But it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Jesus. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes.